Hello everyone. Hey, hi Shiva. Hi Bhav. Uh, you guys can ask questions if you have any doubts or uh, after five or 10 minutes, I will be starting and explaining you about the new project LLM uh, in Databricks, which I'm building right now. So please feel free to ask any question, any type of you know doubts if you have it. And first of all, thank you. And also like, thank you for joining. Uh, today's session. Uh, you are data. Bob, I am a data analyst, mainly working in Power BI. Any suggestion for scaling up my future? Better to switch to data engineering because it is in very demand. And uh, and it's better, you know, uh, you learn like Databricks, Spark Technologies, or any other cloud platform. Like it could be Azure, it could be AWS, and so. So better to, you know, uh, you know, I mean, don't stick to only Python or Power BI or SQL, better to learn new technologies and it has a more demand, it has a more money too. Siva, I have zero background knowledge on this on this session. Can you give me a little background? So uh, guys, like, you know, I'm gonna, so I'm not sure whether you are following me regularly on LinkedIn or on YouTube. Okay. I mean, uh, recently I have started a new project, which is gonna be, which is gonna be, uh, no, which is gonna be on Databricks and uh, Gen AI uh, stuff. So I will be making a chatbot using using Databricks, Delta Lake, and so. And uh, I mean, that's what you know. The session is that I'm gonna explain you the project requirement as well as the architecture. So if you guys are interested. I know, I mean, if you think that, hey, this project can add your, can add a value in your resume, then you guys can, you know, look into it. So or, or also, if you want to build by your own, you can also build by your own. That's not a, you know, a thing. So chalo, let's see, you know, I'm going to start the session. Let me share the screen. Uh, I hope the screen is visible to you guys. Please confirm if it is visible. I'm showing you a kind of. Uh, nice, nice. So Chalo, we'll uh, discuss about it. So, you know, uh, this is the architecture here. What I'm going to do is what I'm gonna is I'm what I'm gonna do is that uh, we we will be having a kind of CSV files or data files putting into a S3 bucket or ADLS Gen2, okay, which will act as a source system, 
okay and uh, using databricks auto loader or uh, different logics we are pulling that data into a branch layer unity catalog i hope that you know unity catalog right and in the form of delta so once it is done then what we are going to what we going to do is that we going to clean the data into a silver layer okay cleaning means see if the date formats are not correct let's say in some of the rows it is like coming uh, yyy mmdd in some of the uh, rows it is coming like ddd mmyy so we have to make it a format a proper format a single format we have to use right so think about a business user think about a customer if you are seeing seeing different formats of date it will not good right so definitely you know you want a proper format so that's what you know we going to do uh, in the silver layer as well as what if if the if the columns names are not proper what if if the data types are not proper we will be putting we will be you know uh, saving all this stuff into a silver layer and once it is done then we going to build a master table kind of thing into a gold layer uh, that will also be a a, a a type of delta right and all these things will be sitting into the database unity catalog so if you know database unity catalog then you know it 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 has uh, a different features it has a lake house monitoring feature it has a data governance feature right so we will be using a lake house monitoring also so what does lake house monitoring is that in the silver layer when we put the data you know what we are not going to do we cannot we cannot check about the quality of the data hey how many nurse value do we have in in this column how many duplicate values we we have in particular column so that we can easily do it using a lake house monitoring as well as in unity catalog there is a feature called lineage right so we will be using a lineage feature also to understand the flow of the data right so once it is all done once we have a gold layer on top of that we going to we going to create a embeddings okay using some uh, uh, hugging models or maybe we can use foundation models of databricks and once that embeddings has been created we will we will you know we will save that uh, we will save that embedding in, into a vector search uh, indexes and using a vector search endpoint right and then what we going to do is that we going to use our databricks foundation models llm LL, llama model and we going to use it and we're going to register to unity catalog and then we register to model serving endpoint and then once it is done we're going to do what we're going to do is that we're going to build a database application so what we can say instead database application we're going to build a streamlight or flask kind of application a chatbot kind of application uh, with that with that user can easily interact with the with the ui and they can ask the question hey whatever data i have i have created in the gold layer let's say it it let let's say it has a country data let's say it's it has a cut it 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 has a product data so what what have what what will happen you know if customer asks the thing hey hey uh, hey uh, chatbot uh, i want i want to know uh, i want to know the rating of this product so so it will give you the answer hey this is the rating of this product what is the price of this product uh, you know a uh, uh, system can can give you answer there is no need of you know a human who will write the answer who will you know give you the answer something like that so we can automate the process correct okay. using llms using you know <laughs> gen ai and so everything i will be doing on top of database we will be using workflows uh, you know to uh, to automate the data refresh like you know pulling the data in brown layer then silver layer then gold layer refreshing the vector search indexes then you know uh, everything you know we will be doing using a workflows and as well as we will be using a app so i mean if you if you are not aware about it date in databricks we can also host a streamlight flask dash kind of applications so we will be using that feature too apart and at the last since it is hosted on a on a let's say it is it it is a dev environment we will be trying to put this thing into a broad environment using automation ci cd pipeline so that's what we're going to do in this project
Thanks, learn with Max. Uh, <clears throat> any questions? Uh, if you have any other things you guys can ask or else you know if you don't have then we can wind up this session Please ask question. Oh, thank you, Learn with Max. Thank you so much for this beautiful message. I think today is Saturday, everyone is busy or maybe many people are sleeping till 10. So maybe, you know, we can connect uh, in, in the evening or else, you know, tomorrow also we can connect. So feel free to, you know, go through this uh, website, this course, and I'm like, definitely I'm 100% sure that you will like it. The I mean, you will like the project, you will get the flavor, you know, how you can build these llm applications on top of databricks and so so because it is in demand i i thought that i should build something right like i know you there might be people who were thinking hey this is very this is very a simple course you know i can also build it yeah go ahead and build it to understand the basic you should actually uh, you you should know you know what type of application what type of problems you can solve it the problem of this uh, in the project what we are, what what i'm what i'm gonna solve it is that you know um, um there is a hospital a lot of hospital we have it right up uh, let's say think about uh, one company have a lot of hospitals uh, they have a lot of patients and so now they want to build some chatbot so that a customers or the patient go and you know they can check their health uh, they can ask the questions uh, instead of asking uh, a very basic questions to doctors like hey what symptoms i do i have you know and what type of medicine i should take it you know something like that they can easily ask based on the previous data so that's what you know my i mean my plan is to build a, a kind of chatbot okay uh, I mean, uh, I will publish this video also over the over, over the channel. So, if you are interested, you can watch this video, and we'll meet you then in the next video or in the next uh, course. Till then, thank you. Bye bye.